Hey kids, Miss Kulkarni here. Let's talk about light energy and electromagnetic spectrum in this video. So let's begin. First of all, remember light has dual nature. Dual means double nature. And which are these two different forms, natures of light? One of them is called as continuous wave form. And the second is called the particle nature or packets of light. The wave form is shown in the figure over here. And the distance between the two consecutive crests, that is called as the wavelength for that particular light wave. The speed of light and this speed of light is 3.0 10 to the 8 meters per second. And look what happens when we use nanometers. That is 3.0 10 to the 17 nanometer. This is what we will be using most commonly. Because when we use the equation wavelength, wavelength is in nanometers. So let's move on and find out more about the light energy and electromagnetic spectrum. Okay, let's actually define these important terms for light wave. One of them is wavelength. Is the length of a wave. It is the length between two consecutive crests and we represent that by a letter which is lambda or we write like that. Since it is the unit for length, we can pretty much use feet, inches, meters, kilometers, centimeters, nanometers. We can take any unit which we use conveniently for length. The next one is frequency. And frequency is always represented as new. And then the way we write down like this. And then it is the number of wave crest which is passing through a point in one particular second. So obviously, what are the units? Units are cycles per second or many times we simply write down that as second to negative one. There's also one common unit which is hertz that can be also used for frequency. Let's get some basics about electromagnetic spectrum. The spectrum could be a visible light and if it's a visible light, it will have a range, the wavelength between 700 nanometers and 400 nanometers. The longest wavelength invisible is red for which we have roughly about 700 nanometers and the shortest wavelength is violet which is roughly about 400 nanometers. Now this is the example of full range spectrum and there are different categories. How do you remember that? I want you to focus and look at the phrase which we have here. It says red Martians invade Rigibill using X-ray gizmos. Let's pick up every single first letter from every word. First is red. What do we have here? Beginning with radio and of course radio could be AM and FM both but those are radio waves. Next one is M that starts for microwaves and we have invade in which stands for IR then we have Roy G bill which is simply the visible range which we have next one is U and then we have UV after that it's X-ray and that's what we are X-ray and then we have gizmos G there which is equal to gamma rays so there it is a simple phrase and the full complete spectrum now one more thing to keep in mind wavelength is 400 over here because that's what we have for violet and this is red so this is going to be 700 nanometer what does it tell you so that means if we move from gamma rays to radio waves wavelength will be always increasing or it will be a longer wavelength light Let's move on to some calculations with light and we have these two important equations. One of them is C is equal to lambda times nu. C is the velocity or speed of light in meters per second and if I want to use same speed in the correct unit, 
nanometer that is 3.0 10 to 17 nanometers per seconds this is h h is considered as Planck's constant and as you know this is the sequence we get for electromagnetic spectrum towards violet we have 400 nanometers and towards red we have 700 nanometers so you already know that wavelength lambda will be increasing as you go from right to left and the other two variables which is energy and frequency they will be increasing in the reverse order so the question is what mathematical relationship you can draw about wavelength and frequency if you see carefully wavelength and frequency are exactly opposite to each other that means if one goes up the other is going to go down or if one goes down other is going to go up if you have that type of relationship that is called as inverse the next question is what mathematical relationship we can draw between energy and frequency look carefully energy and frequency both are going from left to right that means if one goes up second goes up or one goes down second one goes down too that means this is a direct relationship let's look at some real problems now here we have wavelength given as 550 nanometer and our job is to find out what is the frequency so we're going to use the simple formula c is equal to lambda times nu and when we plug and check we use the light speed 3.0 times 10 to the 17 because that's what we have in nanometers per second and then wavelength of course is 550 here and that times the unknown frequency when we solve this we get 5.45 times 10 to the 14 and its frequency so the unit is seconds to negative 1 let's work on second problem frequency of light is given now here and we have to find out lambda again we will use same equation c is equal to lambda times nu and we will plug the values so we get 3.0 10 to 17 is lambda times 9.45 10 to 14 when we rearrange and solve for lambda that is 317 nanometers now our next job is to find out is it visible or not and if it's not visible is it uv or ir let's take the first part for a light to be invisible it must be in visible range and visible range is between 400 to 700 nanometers that means the wavelength which we got is not in the visible range but if it is not a visible light, is it UV or IR? Let's go back and find out where this 317 will lie. Over here, we have visible range between 400 and 700. And our wavelength is 317, which comes somewhere over here. That means the light must be UV and not IR. Let's move on to the next problem. Frequency is given here and our job is to find out energy energy is equal to h times nu where h is equal to Planck's constant so that's what we get when we plug the values for both h and nu and when we solve the final answer is 5.19 times 10 to negative 19 joules the second part of the question is in this example is the light visible we can find out that only if you know what is the wavelength for that, we have to use the equation, let's find out what wavelength is. So when we plug the value, this is what we got. And when we simplify, the value of lambda is 38.2. Obviously, this is not in the visible range of 400 to 700 nanometers. Moving on to next problem. We got wavelength here and our job is to find out energy. So, the formula is E is equal to HC over lambda. So, when we plug and check, this is what we get. And when we solve for energy, 
that is finally 3.62 10 to negative 19 and the unit is joule. One more problem before we get done. And we have energy here and we need to figure out if the light is visible or not. And we can find out that only if we calculate what is the lambda or wavelength. We are going to use this equation E is equal to HC over lambda. So if you simplify we get E times lambda is H times C or lambda will be HC divided by E. So when we plug and check that is the answer which we get. This is the value for H, this is the value for C and this is the value for lambda. And when we simplify that the final answer is 597 nanometers. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you again in next video. Until then, bye-bye.